Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Have you seen the music video of Family Ties by Kendrick Lamar and Baby Meek? Well, I have, and I saw a nice effect in there that we can easily recreate in Adobe Premiere Pro, so let's have a look. Now, first things first, we need to shoot some footage. Now, I decided to look for a practical solution for the line in my shot. On one side of the screen, I have a very bright white wall, which is going to be very useful since we're going to use it as a kind of track mat. And on the other side, I have a darker and more textured side. In the middle is a practical line which makes it easier to crop or mask later on. Okay, once we've shot our footage, drop it in your timeline. First, we're going to duplicate our clip by holding Alt while dragging. And then I'm going to disable the clip on track number one for a moment because we're going to focus on the duplicate layer. First, look for the crop effect in the effects panel and drag it onto the layer. Then adjust the crop so that only the part with the bright wall is visible. Next, we're going to the window menu and open up the Lumetri color panel. Go to the HSL secondary tab and select all of the hue, all of the saturation and only the lightest parts of your shot. Now don't forget to select the color gray checkbox to see the selection that you're making. Now don't forget to deselect the selection checkbox once you're done. Now once you've made the selection, bring down the exposure and the saturation and crank up that contrast. Then create a new Lumetri color effect on it, which you can do by going to the drop down menu above and selecting add Lumetri color effect. Now from the basic correction tab, crank up that contrast again and drop the shadows and blacks. The end goal is to make your character completely black and the background completely white. Now you can also use the curves to adjust this even more. In the end, it should look like this. But before we continue with the final steps, let me tell you about our Premiere Pro Beginners class, which is a highly rated course where you can learn all the basics of editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Ideal for anyone who wants to become a pro editor. Now you'll learn everything about the workflow of Premiere, how to organize the workspace and your clips, how to use all of the tools from the toolbar, how to apply video effects and create transitions, and you'll get familiar with text and graphics. And you'll learn how to create templates from those as well. And then you will learn everything about custom animations, speed ramping, visual effects, color correction, and the highly underestimated audio effects and audio mixing. And of course, you'll learn how to export your video in the best possible settings so you can showcase your work to the entire world. And if you click on the first link in the description down below, you will get a 30 days free subscription. So be quick and start learning. But let's continue with our effect now. Now, once it looks okay, set the blend mode to multiply and drag your clip to track number three. Then place a color mat or a clip with the color animation on track number two and copy paste the crop effect from the top clip to that second clip as well. And bam, your effect is done. And if you want to put extra animations on it, like I did, then you can nest everything together and use the transform tool to create some camera animations. And once that's done, your final effect will look like this. Mr. Kendrick Lamar, if you saw this tutorial, don't hesitate to contact me for future music videos. The rest of you, I hope to see you next week for a new tutorial. And as always, stay creative. <laughs>